Hi, this is Michael, and this is going to be my review of the Givenu Rotary Burr Grinder. This is a steel burr grinder, not a ceramic burr grinder. So right off the bat, that is a plus for me because ceramic burrs are more prone to cracking or breaking, and the steel burr is gonna be longer lasting and way more durable. So that's the first thing. This is 120 volts and 60 hertz, so this is not gonna be compatible with international markets, but uh, that's what it is, 120 volts, 60 hertz. It uses a two-pronged polarized plug, and uh, just a note of safety here, you are able to take the burr out of this for cleaning, but make sure you unplug the machine before you attempt to do anything like that just for safety. This grinder gives you 31 different grind settings, everything from a very fine grind, and this actually gets fine enough that I believe that you could make Turkish coffee with this because it's almost a powder. And then for your espressos, you might want to use a setting of two, three, or four, somewhere in that vicinity. Then you can go right to a medium, which is going to be great for your drip coffee makers. And then, of course, you can go all the way up to coarse for your French press. And then you've got any degree in between there. 31 different settings all together. They give you a little brush. This little nylon brush is what you're going to be using to clean the burr, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. And they also include a nice stainless steel cup for catching your grounds once they're ground, and it's actually got a little rubber on the bottom here to help it from sliding around. So when you're ready to grind coffee, just place the cup in that position and it'll catch all your grounds. Now this has a touch setting here. Uh, you have a cup setting, a timer function, and then this is going to turn the grinder on or off. It actually doesn't shut the power off, but it either starts the grinding action or stops the grinding action. So it's not a true on off button exactly. After three and a half minutes of inactivity, the uh, grinder will then shut off for good until you push that button again. If the display is lit, that means it's on and ready for action. If the display is not displaying anything, that means it's off and you need to push this button in order to turn it on and start the grinding. When it's actually off though, pushing this button once won't start the grinding, it only turns it on. Yeah, it's a little weird. Uh, that's one of my probably only major complaints with this machine. So let me pour this out because I want to actually show you how much coffee is being ground. One cup's worth of grounds is generally going to be two tablespoons. That's what sort of the standard is. Now of course that's going to depend on your taste. but if you look on the bag of a Starbucks uh, bag of coffee or usually any commercial coffee, they're gonna say use two tablespoons of coffee for one cup of coffee, which is six ounces. So let's see how much we get. And this is at a setting of medium. So there we have the coffee. And now what I'd like to do is measure this and see how many grams of coffee we actually end up getting with. Actually, what I'll do is see if we have two tablespoons. We have basically a scant tablespoon of coffee. So if you're expecting to get one cup of coffee from this amount of grounds, you're gonna have a pretty weak cup of coffee. So, and plus, if you are in a fine setting, you're gonna get even less coffee. And then if you go to a coarse setting, which I'll do right now, let me put this medium grounds right there. Let's do one cup's worth of coarse. So there we go. Let's see how much that weighs. So that weighs five grams. And let's pour that over here so we can compare it and then let is, let's go to the fine setting. And I'm gonna grind it twice. I'm gonna grind it once just to clear the course out of the system. And now let me grind a fine. And weigh this. And that weighs two grams, so that's even less. But let me put that in here.
Now as far as the timer operation, the timer doesn't actually let you set a amount of time, but it counts up the time once you've started the grinder. So to get into the timer mode, you just push the middle button there, the display will go to zero and flash. Then when we push the bottom button, that's going to turn the grinder on and it'll start counting up. It's not going to stop until 35 seconds, so you have to manually stop it. So if you are in the habit of weighing your grounds, you'll, and if you use pretty much a similar setting all the time, you'll be able to eventually judge how long you need to grind the coffee to get the proper amount of coffee for how many cups of coffee you want. So that's how the timer function works. Now let's take a close look at the coffee grounds to see the consistency of the grind. And again, this is very impressive to me. Uh, if you've ever used a rotary blade grinder, that is the absolute worst grinder you could ever use for grinding coffee beans. If you have a blade grinder, get rid of it. Use it just for spices or something, but please don't use it for coffee because you will never ever get a consistent grind. A burr grinder, on the other hand, such as this one, is going to give you an extremely consistent grind and I'll prove that right now. All right, here, here's our fine grind and you can see that this is very, very fine, very powdery. So this is maybe not quite as fine as you'd want for Turkish, but it's about as close as this machine is gonna be getting. But I think that is very, very fine. And it's probably a little too fine for an espresso. Here we have the medium grind and look at the consistency. This is just a perfect medium grind. I mean, there is no big chunks at all. This is just all very consistent. And even when I move some of the grinds away, you can see there's no little powder underneath there. So we're getting a very nice consistent grind. And then if we spin this around to our coarse grind, once again, a lot of great consistency here. I don't see any powder. It's just a very, very nice consistent grind. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to remove the hopper so that you can take it off the machine and clean the steel burr inside. First of all, make sure that all the beans have been removed from the hopper so you can just pour them out into another bowl. Make sure that there are no beans remaining and then um, push this lever on the back and you wanna give a slight counterclockwise rotation of the hopper and then just pull it straight off like this. As you're peering down into the grinder, then you want to lift up this bale and then just give a slight counterclockwise turn and then lift the burr straight out of the grinder. You are then able to use the small brush that they provide in order to clean out any of the loose grounds. You can also use the brush to clean any loose grounds that might be inside the grinder itself and then simply tip it over and give it a little tap and any loose grounds will fall out. To reinstall the burr, then you need to notice that there are cutouts on either side and there are corresponding tabs inside the grinder. You just need to line up the cutout with the tab and then just slide the burr straight down and then give it a slight clockwise rotation and then make sure that bale is pushed down. Then get your hopper line up the arrows again to the unlock position, give it a slight clockwise rotation, and it will lock into place and then be locked into position. And that's it. So that's my review of the Givenu Conical Burr Grinder. I think it's a great little machine. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions about it, leave me a comment. I'll answer it if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a great day.